Let's go to Andrew in uh, Fresh Meadow. Andrew, you on the fan? Hey, Tony, how you doing? I'm doing well, man. How are you? Well, I'm hanging in there. I mean, I'm looking forward to baseball starting up, mm -hmm. considering that the Yankees have a Monday afternoon game. But real reason why I called, obviously, and you know the reason why is about the Knicks as usual. Mm -hmm. You only have a few more games to be worried about them. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about because uh, what's been bugging me about the Knicks, this has been going on for the past two months, is I want to see the D-Leaguers get called up. And what's really been – I never got to give my opinion about Jimmy Bidette, okay? Okay. You sign this kid to a 10-day contract, and what do you do with him? You only play the kid in two games. Yeah. <laughs> give, give, me a, give me a break. I mean, first of all, this is going to be obvious. Rambis is not going to be the coach next season. If right. he's the coach next season, then Phil Jackson has to go. Because I am, I have just had it with the New York Knicks franchise. I mean, this garbage in the past about Isaiah Thomas, and then now this, this, this has just gotten completely out of control. The next week, this is what I want to see, Tony, the next week. I want to see more of the D-Leaguers get called up because you're playing for nothing. And I, I think these D-Leaguers have potential to, to, to be part of the future. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, look, I, I would you got nothing to lose. My only problem is they waited this long. I, I wish they had brought them, you know, made this commitment with 20 games to go because that gives you a better barometer of what these guys can do. Like, Jimmy Fredette is a perfect example. Doesn't he gets pushed around on defense? That's what Ramba said. Okay, but the one thing we all know is the guy can shoot. So why can't you stick him out on the wing or, or way out on the three point area and and set him up and and see what he can do? Again, what have you got to lose? But here they are. You know, they'll, they'll I guess Galloway and 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 Grant's about all they can deal with right now with with what five games to go. Suppose they both have excellent. <laughs> Five games. That's not gonna. That's not gonna convince them that that they're the future. But you know, you're putting a product out there, and and uh, basically, you know, if if you start playing them at 20 games left to go in the season, you're basically telling everybody the season's done. Well, I think every Nick fan knew that, and I think if you ask every Nick fan, they would love to have seen these guys play. So at the end of the season, you could say, you know what, this Grant guy looks like a good player. You know, Galloway, he's got an upside. Um, so and so, uh, uh, not so much. I mean, what if Grant played the last twenty games and he was a turnover machine and made the bad decision? You say, okay, Phil, this was a first round pick. Jeez, okay, we 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 know he can't play. But now it's it's just enough mystery that okay, he looked good, but we don't know if he's. Really, really good. So let's put him in the in the summer league, and we'll see what happens in this, in the in camp in the fall. These questions might have been answered.